Hi artists, Miss Watson here. The purpose of this video is to model how I created my text portrait. And I'm going to be showing you some different options that you can use to create your text portrait. So first I'm gonna click on the emoji in Sketchpad. And I'm gonna click on the red bar that says load your own image. Now I already have a selfie saved on my desktop. If you want to use a photograph, you need to save it to your computer and then upload it into Sketchpad. So now I want to resize it. And I was very particular in the selfie that I wanted. I wanted it to be very dramatic looking because I want the text to really communicate the message. So I have just one eye, I have part of my nose and part of my lips. So now I'm going to use the paint bucket and I wanna make sure that it says pixel fill. And I'm going to fill in some areas of my face using the pixel fill. Now I can also change the colors. Maybe I want to do a brighter blue. And I'm going to do my lips next. I want my lips to be a bright red. Actually, I'm going to do a purple for my eye because we all know Miss Watson loves purple. So now something that's really cool is when you go up to this stack of paper in the top left corner, it says layers. I can actually take away my clip art and now I have a really cool face or portrait that I can work with. So I'm gonna actually put that back on for right now. And now I wanna start adding my text. So I'm gonna to go to tools and I'm going to go to text. And I'm gonna start with creative. Ms. Watson is creative. Now I don't really like this particular font. So I think I want to change it. So I'm gonna to go to choose font. And I want to find a font that really communicates the idea of creative. And now I'm going to add another word. We all know Miss Watson is loud. And again, I want to change that font. So, oops. so notice how the font did not change because it wasn't selected. So you want to make sure that you are selected on the font, on the, the text. Now notice how you can just hover over the text and it'll show you what that word will look like with that text. I kind of like that one. Oops. And I kind of like the idea of it going off of the page but I'm not really sure about yellow for that. So maybe I'll make it a deep, but there's not a lot of contrast there. So maybe I will go more of a lighter color. Maybe even a green or a blue. And you can kind of go through. I kind of like the blue. I'll move it over just a little bit. So I want to really play around with my fonts. So Miss Watson is also a mother. So that font doesn't really say mother. So I want to find maybe a soft 
nurturing font. Let's see. I'm using a script for Like that. And I want to really play around with the directions of my font. So I can turn this to the side. And I'm going to move it over here. Now I'm a mother of two, so I'm actually going to copy and paste that twice. And maybe I'll even change colors. So again, I can go back to layers and I can take my clipboard away. So now it's really just kind of showing more of the text and that image in the back. So really play around with your idea of layers, play around with your different fonts. There are so many selections. And again, your portrait does not have to be a solid picture but it can be rather the idea of a portrait. I hope this video was helpful. I can't wait to see your text portraits.